Finding a long term fix water fountains and faucets have been shut off at Detroit's public schools since the beginning of the year after finding both lead and or copper in the uh, drinking water. Well, today the Detroit Public Schools Community District is planning to reveal and vote on a plan to address that important issue. Seven Action News reporter Matthew Smith is joining us live this morning from Thurgood Marshall Elementary School in Detroit. And Matt, what do we know about this proposal to fix the problem? Well, we know that they plan to build a few hundred hydration stations for schools across the district. The big problem is going to be you don't know who's going to pay for it or when these things will actually be rolled out. We're hoping to learn that at today's board meeting, which kicks off at noon in downtown at Fisher Hall. I actually had a chance, though, to sit down with the superintendent recently to talk a little bit about this, and he told me that corporate sponsors, he's hoping to unveil them today. They'll be chipping in, and hopefully that'll help offset some of this cost. It's a plan he expects to show board members later on today. I'm looking forward to um, engaging the board about the solution. I think the board uh, is aware of where we're going based on the community engagement uh, meetings that we've had, also uh, private conversations that I've had with them and even some conversations we've had at, at board meetings. Remember, this problem has been brewing for a while. Back in August, we told you the district got definitive proof. That first round of testing results back both showing levels of copper and lead in water. That was close to the start of school. There was no time to waste. Schools began without drinking fountains in the beginning of September and said bottled water became the new norm at DPSCD schools, more than 100 across the city. And then in late September, after the first week, the district started a format of engagement sessions, public discussions with parents and students about what was happening and what they wanted to see change. So I have heard a few people ask, what exactly is a hydration station? Basically consider it a big water filter. It takes out all the bad stuff, the lead, the copper, things like that, and also cools the water at the same time. But they're going to need a lot of these things. We're talking about one for the gym, the kitchen, and also the faculty lounge, in addition to one for every 100 kids at each and every school. So you can imagine this is why they're going to be counting on those corporate sponsors. Will they foot the whole bill or some of it? That's one thing we'll have to check out, and hopefully we'll learn today at that board meeting when the plan is unveiled. But we are live on the west side, inside Pilgrim Village, outside of Thurgood Marshall Elementary School. I'm Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Right, thank you very much. This is one of those things where you have to find the money because you have to find the solution. Parents and, of course, students and teachers want that as soon as possible. Thank you very much, Matthew.